So hi, Kat. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. So, so first thing, thanks for the amazing life hack you introduced in the first episode. I mean, eating Cheetos with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, that uh, I you know I credit our writer our writers room with that one, but um, you know the writers of the pilot Jessica Gao and Zeb Wells, uh, they came up with that and I was happy to execute it. It made me laugh every time. Yeah, and, and you tried it out yourself. I haven't tried it yet. But you I should. <laughs> Have you done it? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, Tatiana is great in this show. I mean, it seemed like you guys had a lot of fun. It was so fun. Um, you know, mm. a lot of people ask me, what scared, what scares you about the show or what scared you? And honestly, the only time I was scared was before we had cast Tatiana. Once we had her as She-Hulk, I knew that there would be a lot of work, a lot of preparation, a lot of CGI hurdles, but we had an actress with great range, depth, humor, and humanity. Yeah. She works out fine, I think. She's great. But were you surprised by the premature negative reactions the, the show has gone on the line? Absolutely not. I, I knew as soon as we had, a, as soon as we were making She-Hulk, you know, we knew that there was going to be people who were going to criticize her. And, you know, I've, I've said it before, I think that, you know, people feel very confident in our society tearing apart women. And I know, mm. you know, when it comes to her body size, if we'd made her a huge bodybuilder, they would have had problems. We made her more of a an Olympian or a dancer and they have problems with that. And, you know, my hope is that they watch the show and they're entertained and all of that gets forgotten. Yeah, I see. So Wong has some hilarious moments here. <laughs> yeah. <Wong's> amazing. <laughs> yeah, it, it is so good. Um, do you have a favorite one? I mean, one of my favorite moments was watching Wong and Madison interact. Um, and the little tag on that episode wasn't originally written, but watching them, I thought we have to just let them play. So at the end of the day, we sat them on the couch and put two cameras on them and let them improvise. And that's where that tag came from. And that was a really fun moment of you know, finding that balance between a very complex technical show and moments where we could just let pure comedy rule. So that's just improvised. A hundred percent. All right. So if you had to direct a feature or a TV show with another Marvel character, who do you pick? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't, I, I would love to go play more in the Hulk world and do mm -hmm. um, a, a Hulk movie. Just from She-Hulk to Hulk. Yeah, the, both the Hulks together. My favorite part of the show is watching Hulk and She-Hulk and the cousin dynamic and Mark and Tatiana playing together. And that that was absolutely one of the highlights of the show was their chemistry and their banter. And, you know, this shared knowledge of being outsiders and having gone through an experience that they're the only two people in the world that have experienced. Mm. And I think it's such a rich, um, it's such a rich playing ground. Yeah, and we also see Tim Roth return. And uh... <laughs> Tim Roth is amazing. How amazing is Tim Roth? I mean, Tim Roth, you know, his comedy comes from his extreme seriousness and the inability to ever know what that man is thinking. He is such an unpredictable actor and it worked so beautifully um, in his portrayal of the abomination. Yeah, it sure did. So thank you, Kat. Have a great day. Thank you. You too.